You know when you move to a new country and you go to a barbecue and you're all standing in the room and then you say something and then the room just goes silent and you're like, oh, shouldn't have said that. Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Apparently, there are some things that you should never, ever say when you live in New Zealand. It, it just the atmosphere <laughs> at the table. It was just bang. Let's jump into the episode and find out what those seven things are. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Welcome to the NZ Ahead podcast. Everything you need to know about moving to and living in New Zealand. There's a whole world here. So nice to be with you again. You'll be right. Kia ora. We call it Aotearoa around here, bro. We are your hosts, Liz and Brian. Amazing New Zealand in the Southern Seas. See, that's where I belong. That's home. Today, we're going to be talking about things not to say when you come to New Zealand. Seven things you must not say. Seven. Yeah. If mm-hmm. you haven't been to the channel before, we're Liz and Brian, husband and wife. We talk about all things travel, about New Zealand, living in New Zealand, moving to New Zealand, basically how fab New Zealand is. Yeah. So we wanted to do this. I was really interested to do this with you, Brian, because seven things not to say when you're in New Zealand, and I'm not joking, about six and a half of them you've said, in fact, you say on a regular basis, right, exactly. you've been living here Back 12 in years all. now. You've been li- <laughs> we've been living here 12 years and... Um, yep. We're still learning, so... Yeah, you learn every day of your life, don't you? Yeah. Yep. So let's jump straight into it. Hang okay. on, let me get my... Oh, do you like our, our chairs? Look, we brought oh, yeah. them in from outside. Yep. We wanted yep. two little chairs to sit and do the podcast on, and we can't find the right size. And then we remembered that we had these little garden chairs, so we dusted all the cobwebs and, and moss off them and brought them in. And so, yeah. Yep, and here they are. the outside yep. in. Spiders crawling over us and everything. Okay, number one thing that you should never say when you come to New Zealand is, oh, you live in New Zealand, so you're from Auckland, yeah? <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> you is should never say? say it, yeah. Wow. I got yeah. these off the internet. All right. Yeah. There's 40 of them and I picked out seven of yeah. the things that you always say. What part of Australia is that then? No, oh. no, stop oh. ruining it. Oh, well, really? No, that's not one of the questions okay. anyway. But anyway, so what part of Auckland are you from? Do you think people say that? I've never heard, but I can imagine because Auckland, you know, a quarter of the population live in Auckland. So, yeah. So yeah. they just think, oh, it's like saying I'm from England and, you know, oh, yeah, you must live in London sort of thing. Don't say that because there are other places in New Zealand other than Auckland. Yeah. Very nice places, actually. Yeah. Shall I tell the story about when we first came to New Zealand and that really rude woman said that thing to I us? I think we've told that once once before. Have but we? Yeah. Probably. Oh, well, anyway, you're having anyway. it again. Right. So we, we turned up in New Zealand. I haven't said it. I haven't. I think we did it at an early podcast a long time ago. Oh, they were, they've were forgotten yeah. about that by now. Um, we turned up to New Zealand, literally wet behind the ears, just moved first to New day. Zealand. First, first day. First morning, actually. Really yeah. excited, thinking, yeah, we're going to start our new life in New Plymouth. You know, because Brian had got a job in New Plymouth. And we go and hire a car from the rental car company. And they came and picked us up from the airport in the rental car to, or, yeah, to, you know. Yeah, picked us up from the jet car. park. Yeah. yeah, from the hotel, yeah. that was yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, is Jet Park the one now that has all the COVID stuff going on? Jet, Jet, Park, Jet Park, the MIQ. It rang a bell then. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty, it's most people stay at the Jet Park. It's close to the airport. I mean, there are other hotels available, obviously, but, um, you know, that's the one that you tend to just... Because you stayed in it the first time you came. I love you? the Jet Park. Do you yeah. think it'll ever be the same for the Jet Park now, though? Because it was all... Cause when you say Jet Park now, it's like, oh, yeah, that's where you stay in MIQ. MIQ. Um, How yeah. are they going to rid themselves of that... You know, well, this just, was the quarantine. I well, I suppose they're jolly happy because, you know, realistically, most of the hotels would have no airport. No, never been stuff. busier, have so, they, Brian? Like, yeah, we'll, we'll be MIQ. Yeah. MIQ, which is, you know, it's, um, what does it stand for? I don't know. Yeah, um, quarantine. The thing when you come over, and I don't know what MIQ stands for, but it's when you come I over. I do, and I've known you... it so many times, but I hate, what, what's it called when you abbreviate words and things? and you just Acronyms. Is it Acronyms. What's the? I can't remember the name yeah, for it. But well, like when you when you speak to someone in the army and it's oh it's the PCYI. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. What? I know. Yeah, yeah I nearly swore. But then, it's didn't the I? hotel that you go in when you come to New Zealand and go into yeah. quarantine. And yeah, so we were staying at the jet park. We, we're digressing, but we stayed no, in the jet park. Yeah, no doubt, someone will tell us what MIQ is. We're staying in the jet park, and this woman turns up, and we're all really excited. The kids are really young. We're like, yay, our new life in New Zealand. Like I say, moving down to New Plymouth. So she said, oh, welcome to New Zealand. In fact, she didn't say that. She's like. 
you're right. You know, yeah. she's like really, she was really <laughs> downbeat, wasn't she? Was, she was, yeah, right in misery like, girls. I don't like working here, type yeah, thing. real yeah, misery, yeah. which is unusual yeah. for New Zealand, especially for Kiwi. Not off to a good start, no, yeah. But we we thought, okay, well, you know, you've you, you know, you've got a job where you have to drive to the airport, and literally, it's only five minutes around the road, yeah, which would be a bit of a rubbish but, job because you'd yeah. want to put your foot down and get going, and then it'd be time to stop, wouldn't it? If you don't like people, don't get a job in anyway, when, when, you, when you're front anyway, of the house so, on anything, no, yeah, but. She goes, oh, where are you guys staying then? Where have you, where, where are you going to be living? And we said, oh, New Plymouth. And she's like, New Plymouth? Why would anyone want to live in? Didn't she? Yeah. If the whole Why New Zealand anyone? anyone want to live there? Yeah. And we were like, oh, we'd never been. And we we're like, oh, is it really bad? And she's like, oh, it's awful. Mm. And she's just like, but she didn't speak like that because she wasn't posh. But she's like, ah, oh, like that, didn't she? Yeah. She did that thing. It was just it's the like, disgusted look of like, is yeah. that the best you could come up and with? And I remember thinking, oh no, and it really put a downer on it, yeah, didn't it? it did, yeah. So anyway, don't tell people they live in It didn't in bother us at all, because 12 years on, <laughs> we're not talking about it. <laughs> we're not bitter. <laughs> yeah. So don't say to people, do you live in Auckland? And don't say to people who are just about to start their new life in New Plymouth, that New Plymouth's yeah. rubbish. Yeah, but that's the problem with Auckland. Right, number two. <sighs> Our friend moved to New Zealand in 1989. Which one was that? Listen, this is the oh, saying. Right. This is the <laughs> I'm saying. Say we haven't got any friends. No, right. <laughs> Number two. This is what you should never say oh, to right, people okay. in New Zealand. Right, right. So just pretend you're talking. Pretend you're a New Zealander, right? And yep. I'm talking to you, and you're like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah." My friend moved to New Zealand in 1989. Do you know them? You should never say that. No. Why do you think that? What do you think? Well, it do you know means? what though? What? Probably in New Zealand they would. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was thinking that. That's, it's just, yeah. yeah we, just had some, we, we, just, we just had some people around, didn't we? We were just doing a, a, um, an interview and stuff. And, um, you know, you just mention one thing. Oh, they're my niece and nephew. You've got to be so careful. Like, oh, You've got to be so careful. Yeah. Don't take that. Se- uh, you need that, to take that seriously. Yeah. So actually that, I know that would, pro- and in most countries that would probably upset people. But in New Zealand, they probably do know them. They do. Yeah. Everyone knows everyone. There's always a connection. Can you somewhere. believe it? I was stood up at a bus bus stop in Wellington. This is like going back a few months ago when yeah. we went to Wellington, me and Tess. I sat in the bus stop and this lady comes up and she's like, oh, which is lovely because this is what New Zealanders do. They will just start talking to you. We've talked about that before. I said, oh, where do you live? And I was not that shit on New Plymouth. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> oh, why did you choose that? <laughs> you know, we live in New Plymouth. She went, oh, yeah. My sister-in-law lives in New Plymouth. Um, her name's, and then she gave me her surname. Yeah. Her name's Bennett. Oh, she's something like right. that. Bus is here. And I'm like, yeah, I was like, <laughs> and I just thought, you know, yeah. I mean, I don't know how many thousand people are in New Zealand. Yeah. Uh, sorry, New Plymouth. Do you know John Smith? But no. what's the chances of, and people will often of say that will. to you. They're yeah. like, oh yeah, you live in uh, Taranaki. So do you know, do you know the Greaveses or, you yeah. know, the, whatever the name is or something, mm. don't they? Yeah, but when, when you had that mobile theatre company, I think we've talk, we might have talked about this before, but we, we bought a trailer from Rotorua, five hour drive and you get there you oh, snooze my, you lose yeah you snooze you lose and <laughs> my sister works in the BP yeah it's <laughs> so, like oh my goodness yeah, yeah yeah but anyway don't I don't think I don't know it says don't say that but yeah. just say it anyway right number three here's one you're gonna like Brian you've never ever said this If you dream of moving to New Zealand, then you are going to love what I'm about to share with you. 12 years ago, when me and Bri emigrated to New Zealand, we were scouring the internet, trying to find any information that we could about what our life would be like when we got here. And basically all we had was YouTube. So we made this vow. We said, when we get to New Zealand, we're going to create something that we can share with others that answers those questions that you're so desperate to know about, like what is your life going to be like when you get here? And that's what I'm here to offer you today. We have created a five-day free, absolutely free video guide that shows you what it's really like to live in New Zealand. This stuff is unique and it is fabulous. You are not going to find it anywhere else on the internet. And like I say, it's absolutely free. You'll be sent a video every day for five days and you will know what it's like in New Zealand. So head over to the website. It's www.nzahead slash free. One more time, that's www.nzahead slash free. You are going to love it. Just say it anyway. Right, number three. Here's one you're going to like, Brian. You've never, ever said this. Football is much better than rugby. That's it. What, next? 
<laughs> it's called the beautiful game for a reason. Yeah. Don't come to New Zealand. If you're not a silly man like Brian, don't yeah. come to New Zealand and start spouting off about the football. Yeah. They don't want to hear it, Brian. Yeah. They're a rugby nation. Yeah. And that's it. That's where it ends, isn't it? Because, yep, yep, you just can't, um, <laughs> I can't remember the word I was going to say then, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> I think they can take it with a you bit You can wind them up a little bit, but not great deals. There's a lot of secret football supporters in New Zealand. I think, There yeah. really, really is, like, you know. It's like my accountant, Kiwi through and through, and he supports Arsenal. I mean, the arses of all the teams. It's a bit like, why would you go to New Plymouth? Why would you support... You know, what's the name of the team? Arse. No. <laughs> yeah, that's how they play. <laughs> no, say you're joking. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, we have talked about this stacks before and we've yeah. done, we did a little video actually, just a fun little video when England were in the European Cup or whatever it was. Yeah, the, the European World finals. Cup. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we did a video about living in New Zealand and supporting the English football team. And yeah. Um, yeah, I think, like you say, on YouTube especially, you get them coming out the woodwork, don't you? And going, mm. oh, I like football. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't support rugby. I, I've lived in New Zealand. I'm a, I'm a Kiwi. I hate, I, hate, I hate rugby. I can't believe it when someone said yeah, that the other day. Yeah, good on them. And the name was on the thing. I know, yeah. And they're coming round to your house now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be too scared to say that. Yeah. Would you? I would. But it's funny, though, when um, I think New Zealand uh, were in the World Cup, would be probably uh, eight years ago now, something like that, football maybe. Football or rugby? Football. Football. Oh, there is a football team here, then? Of course there is. I didn't know that. Well, it's, it's the All Whites, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, what well, is? Oh, right. So there is a football team. Of course there is. Well, what are you complaining about, well, There's then? Premier League players that are a New Zealander. Um, what's his name? His name is... Oh, he plays for Burnley, and I can see him. And he's, uh, I think he's number 10. You've never told me that? Yeah. Oh, hand on heart. I thought that, I knew they had, um, they're obviously rugby. I knew they had women. Of course women's... there is. There's, there's, I used to think... Stop saying course there is, I, because I, how yeah, am I supposed to know that? Well, I, you, I used to coach football at the school. Yes. Like doing like little kick arounds yeah, at the school. Yeah, but that's how it starts, but isn't I it? I didn't like, know, you know they had a national team, a proper they, team. Yeah. yeah. Are they, are they, is it good? Well, do you know what? They never lost. In, they, they, they drew every game. And even against the world champions at the time, which I think were Italy, um, this is just trying to get the, my memories. It, you're talking, uh, no, we hadn't been here that long, and it was oh, the all, the all, you know, the all whites are doing good. Oh, isn't that something yeah. you learn every day? I swear yeah. to God, I had no idea. Yeah. I just thought, no, no they've we, got some great know? players. You know, um, yeah, they have, and I, I can't remember the name of. So, where's oh, all I the thought, supporters then that you can go and play with and have a little chat down the pub? Well, you look at the, uh, the cafe we go to, um, yeah. um, High Tide Ming, who is the cafe owner. He plays football yeah, on Saturday I mean, yeah, afternoons. Yeah, but I just assumed I look, that look that at, was like um, a, a like a general kick around something to do. I didn't know that they. Oh, anyway, yeah. obviously I didn't. But know Sean, that. Uh, you know, um, one of the kids' friends. Um, he, he plays yeah, football Yeah, I know, with his dad. I know yeah, that. Yeah. I know that people play football in New Zealand, but what I'm saying is I didn't know they had a team that went and played the against other team. people yeah. in the world. Yeah, yeah. they've got to qualify um, with other, other so countries. So I wonder country, why then countries. that you do just constantly hear about nothing other than rugby. Because it's that's what it's known as. You know, the All Blacks wouldn't be the All Blacks without that um, constant stream yeah, like of, of in, talent coming through. Yeah, would it's it? like being living in Italy and going, oh, yeah, we're only ever going to talk about pizza, we're never going to talk about pasta. Yeah. But it's two good things they've got. Why do we not hear the, more about the football? The Italians are so passionate about football. Yeah, I know. But they've got a, uh, an Italian rugby team. Oh, have they? Yeah. Oh. See, Liz never watches rugby. You can quite I see, don't. you know, no. when you have the five Why nations. Why would I? I'm well, watching you, SpongeBob you, you, like that guy on the YouTube comments. You grew, it's up much with more a, interesting. you grew up with the five nations, which was Italy, um, France, uh, England, Scotland, Ireland, and Wales. It's a five nations. Yeah, was that five nations? Or well, six nations? Six nations. Six. Yeah, well, that's right, because, yeah. <laughs> that's not much I know. <laughs> yeah, the six nations. It's big. It's a tournament every year in the... Oh, yeah, right. In, in, in but Europe. you know what I mean, though, by using that uh, uh, Italy example? It's just, it's, I don't know. It's just, you never, I never, ever hear about it. Yeah. Do you? Probably not. No, but you don't. It's just, it's, it's rugby and that's it. You right. get, you, you, they say you're going to go and watch the footy and I'm like, oh yeah. And then it's They don't like, actually. They don't say like, that. They say soccer. No, that's what I'm saying. They go, they, they say footy as rugby. 
Oh. Go and watch the footy. Oh, God, now I'm totally yeah. confused. Yeah. A I'm soccer, totally confused. soccer is American. Don't ever call it soccer. It's not soccer. It's football. And that, that's it. Yeah. It's called FIFA for a reason. Number four. Number four <laughs> things never to say when you come to New Zealand is... Well, New Zealand is part of the Commonwealth of, of, Brit, uh, of part of the Commonwealth, so Britain technically owns you. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, you've got that Union Jack on your flag. Ooh. Ooh, I know. I, you wouldn't say that, would you, Bri? No, hey? that's a bit. Um, it's a bit like saying the same to Canada or Australia, lot. You know. Mm. You know, what's the population of Australia now? 25 mil, is it something like that? And then there's another 5 million here. You've got, it's just like, actually, there's more people in the Commonwealth than what's actually back in England or back in mm. the UK. Yeah. Is there? Is yeah. that true or have you just well, made I would, that up? No, I, I would imagine it is, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. thing is, you must never say that. That's not a good thing to say, is it? Like, you know? Yeah. But, and I'm going to be, I'm going to, you know, put my neck out a little bit here, Bri. What I don't understand, right, mm. is... Like when we talked to Gordy that time, you know, yep. like Gordy yep. did a fabulous interview with us and he talked to, he's a fifth generation Kiwi and his original family came from, um, I don't know if it was Scotland or sorry, Gordy, I can't quite remember, but it was, it was either Scotland or England, uh, wasn't it? Uh, was it Ireland? Weren't they missionaries from Ireland or something? Okay. Yeah. So they come over from the UK. Yep. But so there's no denying that... You've got UK blood here, yeah. and there's lots, you know, of all the like English, Irish, and Scots. But Bry, do you think? I sometimes think that the Kiwis prefer the Americans to us. And well, I do you feel know what someone, like, someone once you know, said to me is, you know, obviously the the connection between the UK and um, New Zealand it w- was because of that's where a lot of the pioneers came from from you know um, that's why the, you know, we've got New Plymouth because they, you know they, they came from the southwest of Cornwall a lot of them mm. a lot of Scottish went down to the South Island so there was always that connection um, but in recent times people have said well you know America is a lot closer it's only 12 hours away isn't it it's not 24 hours away mm. you know it's what four weeks on a ship not eight weeks on a ship that I get, sort of thing. I get a bit confused though because, like that, like I say, we're, I feel as if we're all one big family. Like you know, we're yep. all we all came from you know all over, but basically a lot of us came from the UK. Yeah. So, but sometimes I feel like a little bit. Oh, I don't want to say. I don't know. Sometimes, uh, oh, I don't know how to say it without sounding like a little baby that's complaining. I don't want to be complaining, but it's almost like you know, like oh. We, we don't want to know about your Britishness. You're in New Zealand now. But when the uh, Americans come over, it's like, oh, yeah, America, America. We can't, you know, I don't yep, know. It just yep. seems to be. They've, they've adopted a lot of American things. But that comes down to, for want of, not, not it's not propaganda, but it's that Hollywood films. You know, you look at all the films. Who doesn't want to be American when you're watching, you know, you go back to the 80s and you're watching Top Gun. Mm. Why wouldn't you want to be playing you know, volleyball on, on the beach like that, like, mm. you know, and all that sort of stuff and riding flash bikes with, you know, the, you know, you look at James Dean and all those ones, Elvis, oh, it's, it's, it was so big. Mm. I mean, what, what, why did you want to be British? You know, why, why wouldn't you want to be American? And that's what you see a lot of people, they drive a lot of American cars here, don't they? Like, you know, we've, we've done a podcast on that. Um, yeah, I with, don't mean they Ameri- want to be American. No, but I don't it, mean it that. rubs off. Yeah, but it's almost like if there was like someone from um, England and someone from California standing in the same room, yeah. I bet you the Kiwis were going to speak to the person yeah. from well, California. Well, you do, because you hear the American accent, you warm to it because yeah. that's what you grow and up maybe with. Maybe it's like, just you know? because it's like, oh, we've had loads of Brits over here. Yeah, Come on, everyone, let's like, get yeah. some Americans. My dad was from Britain from England yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I've said that once before doing a course in Auckland and everyone oh you poms come over and you're doing this and it's like where are you from yeah and, and they never like, said that's the Americans no but you, they, they were born in England yeah you know and I came over when I was four years old well you just said you're a pom then no I'm is not is that what Kiwi. someone said to you yeah what, and they were born in England and they yeah. were calling you a pom you're calling me a pom that's not but right. everyone in the that? room who was it I can't remember it. Tell me. I was doing a backflow prevention, uh, water backflow prevention um, course. Nothing like a backflow prevention no, no, course. No, like a bit of backflow, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Brian. You did no, some good just stuff. A, we just ended up laughing because everyone was from England, you know, or, or 
their parents were, like, you know. Did you shout him out and say, you're from England? Yeah, I just said, oh, you're, I said, where were you born? I said, you know, thinking he's going to say Auckland, because, you know, that's where everyone's from in New Zealand, obviously. And <laughs> <laughs> he, he said, I was born in Wolverhampton. I Cheeky said, said you're, you're, you're a pom then? No, no, I was right, you're a brummie. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> he got really like, I went to school over here, you know? Yeah, and it's just yeah. Like, and? Get yeah. your red bands yeah. off, you're a Brit. You're the same as me, mate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we ended well, up being quite good friends at the end. <laughs> do you good. remember when we went to Whistler to do that? Um, uh, you know, we, Whistler we, in Canada. Yeah, yeah, we worked in Whistler in Canada and we were hosting this chalet. We've talked about it before on our Canada versus New Zealand um, podcast. Yep. And do you remember that really posh guy, Bri? The, the Scott, remember we called it like this, it was like a Scottish oh, snob. Do you yeah, remember? Yeah, it was and Alistair, Alistair, yeah. Was it Alistair, something like we that. We used anyway, to yeah. get some really posh, it was really high end. Yes. That's obviously why they employed us and yeah. <laughs> to do their cooking. And these fam- this family came over, we called them the royal family, and they were really, really posh. And the, like the guy, the head of the family, he was giving you a hard time, wasn't he? Saying, you well, know. He was just talking about, you know, because it, it's like, oh, where are you from? And, you know, he was this, as his wife called him jokingly, he was a feudal landlord from Scotland, had a, uh, an estate, a castle, and employed people and had people renting stuff and everything like that. And um, I, I just said, so you, you don't sound just Scottish because he, he just had this public school boy accent yeah, didn't he like, like you know talk to everybody like that bloody hell, yeah. it was like almost like royalty and he went uh well i was born in england i said well, you, <laughs> you're not scottish then <laughs> yes i am my bloodline's scottish oh, and i'm like no. well, well where about in england were you born i was born on the wirral which is the other side of liverpool across the mersey i saw you're a scouser then mate. <laughs> oh, no. and it just the atmosphere at the table it was just bang and it was just like Hmm. <laughs> so you go from being a Scottish lord to a yeah. scouser. The Scottish flu- feudal landlord to a scouser. Yeah. All right. You'd okay. be headbutting someone soon. Yeah. yeah. Right. Moving on then. So what number was that? Number five? Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Number four. Oh God. Number four. Right. Number five. Does your toilet flush the wrong way because you live in New Zealand? I don't get this. Well, it's it, about how the water goes down, like the plug hole. Yeah. Is that true? Do you know what? It's so... No, I don't... I, pff, yeah, did, do you remember when we went to Kenya and the water went round the bath the wrong way? Remember? Yeah, but we were right on the equator there. Yeah. And I think it was, you know, it's, it was almost like, yeah, they just started staring it the other way. I think naturally it can, you, but... Who started staring it? Well, if you just... I don't know. You know when you turn the taps on and it swirls around? It doesn't all of a sudden stop when you plug it out. It keeps swirling the same way. Well, who could have swirled it? Well, it's, this is what they say. It's because, you know, Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, you know, it, the, the water will go that way down the plug one and it's supposed to go the other way here. Yeah. I've never really taken any notice of it that much. Yes, you have, don't lie. When we went no, to Kenya, we, you was going, oh, look at the water going the different no, way. D- I said, let's see if it does. And it's just like, if I ran the hot tap, it went that way down. If I ran the cold tap, it went the other way down. So it I didn't just stop go- and turn itself around. I want to still go back a minute. Let's just pause. Who is swirling the water the wrong way around, Brian? Well, the, do you know what? The- <laughs> <laughs> big giant sitting on the equator. Yeah. Someone blowing the water Ooh. around. Yeah. No, it, but it's supposed to be, you know, the the the, the turn of the <laughs> centrifugal force or whatever it is that's supposed to turn this water around the wrong way. Yeah. Well, so it, it must it, be true, but I've, you never really notice. So, it. does it go the wrong way around in New Zealand? That's all I want well, to know. It's what's right and what's wrong. Or well, does it go with, to the opposite of England? Let's say it's supposed to. Yes, if, if you had a swirling, you sensation, don't know, do you? Do you know what? It shouldn't really on a toilet. Just wherever, wherever the water comes out on the rim, it's how it's going to make it swirl. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> number five. So that was number five. So well, let's just put a line under that, so you don't know the answer to that. So yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> don't ever say does your toilet flush the wrong way. And don't yeah. ask Brian because he doesn't know, yeah. even though he's a plumber. Yeah. Number six. Don't ever ever say to a New Zealander when you're in New Zealand, sausage sizzles are overrated. Oh. Yeah. I see. Sausage sizzles. Sausies. Yeah, yeah. sausage is a national dish. I know. You don't but say they're overrated. No, you can't really say it's overrated because it's nothing like, you know, you, you, when the kids were small, um, you'd, you'd go to the local shop, um, even if it's a supermarket, somewhere with a car park outside normally. And on Saturday, there's always a saucy sizzle mm. on the go, isn't there? You know, raising money. Warehouse, it's a, outside yeah, warehouse. Yeah, it's a dollar or a couple of dollars. Might uh, gold ten. Gold coin, coin donation, which they have a lot. You get a sausage, one piece of bread, on the angle, saucy in the middle, maybe a few onions. Ketchup. Ketchup. 
or a mustard or whatever it is you want, and away you go for a dollar. Oh, it's flipping lovely. It's always good. Like, it's you know? lovely. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no problem because they always use the pre-cooked sausages. So, you know, it's literally, yeah. the, it's just a bag of pre-cooked sausages that they throw on and brown up on the barbecue. If you've got it? kids and you're living in New Zealand and yeah, all right. Yeah. If you're veggie, then maybe they do veggie ones as well, though. Maybe they do veggie sausages. Well, it's not really any- sausage then, is it? But No, but anyway, yeah. it are, it's the best thing ever. Yeah. And I think we've told you this story before when we were camping down the Blue Lake in Rotorua. Have we told that story? When there was remember. all that, there was, ki- there was kids swimming in the water and the dad was pulling up the boat and the kid shouts so loud across the lake, Dad! What's for tea? Oh, and the dad yet, shouts yeah. back, sausies. And the kid goes, yeah. He was, <laughs> was so happy, so wasn't he? Was <laughs> and so we've always this said big that Big flash now. boat. Yeah, massive <laughs> big, big, big flash proper boat. Big ski Nordique ski boat, yeah. whatever they're called. Like, you know, there's us in our little crappy $5,000 boat and yeah. he's got this $100,000 thing and they're having sausies for tea. And we've always yeah. said that. It's just like, it's the best thing. It's just, you know... What better way? Sausage on the barbecue. So, yeah. 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 Right. Oh, hang on. The dog's just having a drink of water. I know. <laughs> right, number oh, seven. No, just, no, don't, don't. No, leave it, it in. Oh, I will leave well, it in. But to listen to her having it, a drink of water. She knows if the water what did goes we ever down do before? the wrong way. I know. <laughs> right, number seven. The last thing that you should not say to People, if you are living in New Zealand, just don't say this. And we've said it, hand on heart, we've said it a lot. And we're going to make a very special episode just on this subject alone. But we're waiting for nearer Christmas time. Do not say to a New Zealander, a hot Christmas just isn't the same Ooh. as a cold Christmas. Yeah. They get really annoyed when yep, you say that. they do. Yep. Because it's, it's, it and is... And don't say you don't like ham either. That's another one. <laughs> There's a bonus one for yeah. you. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's funny because you have Christmas cards here and they've got snow on. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, you know, after living here for 12 years, it's absolutely brilliant having a hot Christmas. Yeah. And as much as you can go, oh, no, it's not what. Uh, it's it's brilliant. But still watch our video that we're yeah. going to make yeah, on Christmas. Yeah, we're going to make a Christmas one. Yeah, we're going to put the cr- Yeah, we're going to get the get the tree up. Yeah, and we're stuff waiting like for that. the tree to go up. Yeah. We'll make it for you. Yeah. So we'll do that tomorrow. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it, it's. Um, I just, I, what I love the best about Christmas, which we'll talk about that when we do that 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 um, that video, is it's the start of the summer holidays. I know, and it's just so you you're normally going to take at least two weeks off after Christmas. You're going to have like a few days before, and then, and it's just a great feeling. Mm. It's none of that doom and gloom in January when it's all cold and wet and taking the decorations down, and it's just. Nothing to look forward to now until mm. Easter. Anyway, save it, save it. Brian, no, we we're will. We're not going to have anything to talk about yeah, otherwise. It's just there's nothing quite like going to pick up the Christmas tree, playing Maliki Licky Mocker um, in the morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's nice, that, yeah. isn't it? But I can see why. If you'd never experienced a cold Christmas and you've lived in New Zealand, you know, you're a New Ze- you're born in New Zealand. You obviously you've never had a cold Christmas. Um, I could see why you'd get annoyed if people just said, "Oh, you know, it's not the same. You know, where's the snow?" And yeah, but all right, let's. Do- we just like a cold Christmas. We but- only like turkey. Yeah. Do you want to say that? But what Mm-mm. the thing is, is the how many years did 45, 46 years I lived in England, apart from probably 1960, I don't know, what would it have been, 1967, and it snowed, or 68. But realistically, probably one or two after that, that like you had snow, snow, mm. you know? You might have had a sprinkling or a, a bit of frost on the morning. Yeah. Just I think rain. everyone should experience both. Anyway, yeah. let's not talk anymore anyway, about no, that because otherwise we'll we're going to yeah. ruin it because yeah. that's going to be a really, really good podcast. So, yeah, yeah, those seven things. How many of those seven things have you you said, you reckon? Probably, Probably most of them. Yeah. I haven't said the toilet going around the wrong way. Well, it's because you don't know the answer. Yeah, fl- flushes you didn't the wrong way. What does it come out of the toilet? The big giant. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's coming to Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we hope you enjoyed this uh, this show on what not to say when you come to New Zealand. Yep, and what we're going to recommend to watch next. Well, why don't you go and, I don't know. Because <laughs> 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 we haven't planned it. So. so thanks so much for watching. Yep. 
And if you would like to come ne- with us now and watch the seven rookie mistakes that we made when we first made to, came to New Zealand, and we're still making them now, so we haven't learned much. Yep. And um, <clears throat> yeah, just come and watch that video with us. And we talk all about the things that, that we just totally stuffed up on when we first moved to New yeah, Zealand. Yeah, it's just those simple things that you just think, I'll oh, do this, do this, get this, or oh, yep. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. And I just want to say, as always, a huge thank you to you all listening on the podcast, taking the time to comment, saying hello. We really, really appreciate you. We're so grateful that you're here. We love knowing that you're you're with us and watching and listening with us. It's just fabulous. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. Kia kaha, stay strong. Kia u, stay true. There you go. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, bye. Okay, bye. Thank you so much for joining us on the podcast this week. We have loved having you here with us. If you love this week's show, please share this with your friends. Send it to anybody you know that wants to think about moving to New Zealand and get on over here yourself. And tell them how brilliant it is as well. And also, if you haven't signed up for our free five-day video guide showing you what life is like, really like, in New Zealand, then go over to the website and sign up. You are missing out. This is brilliant. Go over to www.nzahead slash free and we will send you five days worth of videos about what life is like in New Zealand. You are going to love it. So one more time, that website that you need to sign up for the free five-day guide is www.nzahead slash free. So we're going to see you next week. Until then, have a great week and we'll speak to you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Say bye again. Bye. Bye. <laughs>